Hello and welcome back to the root cutoff of today's Doomsday on Demand. I waited for that three minutes for you guys and an ad shows up. That's great. Oh my god. No. Chapter 2. Today is always... It's always God tomorrow. Well, happy birthday, you murmured to yourself as you tap on the small pixel candle of the anticipation card and watch it as it glows out. Look on the car, the battery in it has a place every year, so it's a wonder how it can still be working. Duration and smell number 11 at the age, check the face away, switch to a 12. I'm finally 12! Oh, I remember when I first turned the turn to her. Oh, it's done recording. Cool. That's, that's good. Uh, really? Off YouTube. Half past two years down here without any information about the outside world. Are we gonna finally go out? Oh. Oh. That is a lot of passwords. So much passwords. Oh god. Look, we could catch a break. Like in the middle it's that big number yeah you leave from the room sure with Bradley and Abby take a look on the assignment chart oh my god I do chores This stock is running low. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. So, sorry, you make your way towards the living room. Finally, get to work, fellow box beep button. Uh, this room is not going to clean yourself. Uh, why don't you do it yourself then? Uh, he shrugs a grin as he walks past you through the room. The broom and mop that's set clean living room. Hours later. Whee! Boring job ever. Ah, you think he's almost passed out from bottom and Philip walks around and rings a handbell. As much as you hate him doing that, you know it means it's finally lunchtime that you drop the broom. Mop it down to the corridor you pass. I swear if I have to work there one more day, I'll kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Look to your right and you see Bradley frowning with bright red cheeks. Uh, at least it's entertaining, you, you chuckle. Try cleaning uh, the living room for hours. You keep chattering until you are next. Abby hands you a plate of smaller rations than yesterday, and you give her this one milk. Artificially sorry, Phoenix. We're low in stock. You know that. I do know that. Okay. Uh, you realize we'll die if we run out, right? You say as you close your eyes and swallow a mouthful of green pottage. Oh. Oh, oh God. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know if you guys read that. Uh, I kind of, I kind of got lost in the story, but uh, I might be closer. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. I'm 12, right? I'm considered evil. I'm closer with Abby than Bradley. If I have to choose between them, I choose Abby. I 
I'm cooler with her than I am with Bradley, even though I knew Bradley like 12 years longer. And her like four months. I don't know if the, I don't remember the actual dates here. He mentions towards the other man, and you begin to walk on the left side. The raining Those are still closed. From inside, the rest of the floors are demolished, and bleh, and you gasp as you step over the dozens of bones and skeletons scattered around you. You walk out into the open. You have to cover your eyes. Oh, since you felt the old light, it's close to the sunset though. Okay. A district of full of lives, small sh 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 now in ruins, and it's like a totally different area. You can count standing in half family buildings on both your hands. Even the sky is darker than it was before. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure a nuke fell. But in two years, yeah, you guys wouldn't be walking. Hmm. Should I be a tough guy? I might die and have to restart all over again. That'd be great for you guys, wouldn't it? Just <laughs> be smart ass. Stand up and put your chest out. What is your name again? Glenn found a barrel of a gun and swallow her head. I'm Phoenix. Phoenix Loyfeld. Loyfeld. I know a couple of fellows back at the base they didn't like that. Oh, my mommy and daddy might be it. Oh. Oh. Remain silent. I won't be too quick. Alright, well, I feel like I'm going to end it here. I'm kind of tired, guys. So, like, good night, and uh, you had fun reading shit. So, bye, guys.